Okay, the question comes came came up on how to res rescale the checker map on the on the three D software, right? Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do this with Maya and also with three uh, D Studio Max, so that you have an idea. I'm just going to simply create a, a box for the example, and I'm going to do automatic mapping in Maya, and uh, then I'm going to go to the hyper shade and apply a simple, you know, simple blend will do. And what I'll do is I'll map the color on the color node, the checker map, okay, and it's over there. And I'm going to middle mouse and click and drag it to our surface, okay. We do it again, make sure it's there, and on the shading, let me see. Let me make sure that sometimes uh, this, the the um, the software, the capture software, does not allow me to do things as I want. So, oh, do we need to click there. There you go. That was it. Uh, make sure you have your over here your texture icon showing because it's not. It's not going to show the texture. Okay. So good. So far, so good. Uh, then the the question comes from. Uh, I'm going to close that. Uh, how do I scale the pattern uh, while keeping the UVs? I'm going to click over here to open the UV editor. Um, how do I keep the UVs within the default area while scaling the, the UVs? Okay, so let me middle mouse back and have that a little bit more expanded. And I'm going to click off the texture icon over here so that it's not too too hard on our eyes okay and uh, as you can see you know all the UVs are there but you know if uh, let's just make a test right if you select them all and scale them the UVs seem to be smaller yay we achieved that but now our UVs are all over and outside the default area which is the positive quadrant there so what I'm going to do is first undo and we're gonna do the tiling on the material itself so here you have you know once again the UVs within the default area which is what we want and let's go to the hyper shade and and let's go to that color that material where you applied it okay and follow that color node connection and I am yes let's go there uh, open the UV coordinate section and you're gonna see a node over there so follow the UV coordinate node that will open another window and here's where we're going to do the changes on that repeat UV section let's make it 20 and 20 okay that seems to work for the distribution that we need you can go higher you know 30 20 30 uh, depending on what you need uh, the idea remember that the idea of doing the UV a checker map test is to see how the UVs are reacting to the placement of the texture okay so that's how we do it in Maya uh, 